Father Dominic. Father Tony. Thank you so much, Father. Respected uh, Mr. Chiba, Father Suman, and my dear friends. I think before uh, we begin my talk, would it be all right if we just stand in silence for one minute for the children who passed through, well, were killed in Pakistan? They were our own brothers and sisters and children of our own brothers and sisters. So let us just in silence pray for the peace of their souls. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank um, Main Minister Jitendra Chima. This is not the first time that I'm here. I, I can't. I forget the count, the number of times I have been in this hall and also in the basement celebrating Christmas with carols and everything. And I thank uh, all of you for this invitation. And uh, it was two years ago that I also was at Puttaparthi. Uh, on Guru Purnima Day and I had the privilege there to share also message. So I am really very happy and I want to thank the organizers here for this celebration of uh, Christmas because as Jesus was born the message that went out by the angels to the shepherds who were watching in the field was glory to God in the highest and peace. This was one line, glory to God in the highest and peace to people on earth. So that goes together. The birth of Jesus brings glory to God and peace to people on earth. And it is that elusive peace that all of us seek, all of us indeed. And we just heard uh, in the introduction, the message of Baba was also about love and peace and respect for all humanity, for all religions. And that's why here in this hall we celebrate the festivals of all religions. And whenever you did this to the least of my brothers or sisters, that you did unto me. And I think this is exactly what the Baba's words to are. That don't, I don't need your service. Didn't he say that? I don't need your service. Whatever you do to the poor that you're doing to me. And my experience at Puttaparthi was this, that everywhere I went, beautifully the slogans were written, serve ever, hurt never. That has stuck into my, my mind like, uh, like base, hurt never. That, that's absolutely the message of Jesus Christ. Love one another, Jesus said, as I have loved you. You have heard, he said in the old, that you must love your neighbor and love your friends and hate your enemies. But I tell you, love your neighbor and pray for those, pray for your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. If somebody hits you on one cheek, show him the other as well. And it goes on and on and on. And he and when he said, you must love your neighbor, somebody asked him, but who is my neighbor? And he gave a beautiful story about who is his neighbor. And he said one man was traveling on his, uh, was traveling and he was beaten up by robbers and robbed and uh, left <coughs> lying there, wounded. And then as he was lying there, breathing uh, difficulty, uh, with great difficulty, a priest passed, somebody like me, passed there, he looked at this man, had pity on him, but he had no time because he was going for his prayer, so he left him there. The next came a Levite, the Levite was also another kind of priest, and he looked at him, this man, half dead, crying there and moaning with pain, and he looked at him and went away as well. And the third man in those days, what Jesus described was a Samaritan. Now Jesus was not a Samaritan, Jesus was a Jew. And Jews always looked down on Samaritans. So Jesus is giving an example of a person who is looked down upon by the general public, 
Samaritan in those days. So he says the Samaritan stopped by, took this man, took this man on his uh, donkey and put him in an inn and asked the innkeeper to take care of him, gave him some money in advance and said, I have to go on my way, take care of him. When I come back, if there is anything left over, I will pay you back. And Jesus asks his listeners, who in your opinion is the real neighbor? I don't need to tell you the answer. Was the priest a neighbor? No. Not the Levite a neighbor? No. Priest may be priest. But if they do not have the spirit of service that Jesus talks about or Baba speaks about, then there is no point and no use of being a priest. So love is what really rules the world because that is what Jesus came to teach us and to tell us. And the whole meaning of Christmas is not Santa Claus. Santa Claus, the television people come and keep and asking me, Oh, so Father, what, what's, uh, what's this importance of Santa Claus? No, Christmas is not about Santa Claus. Christmas is about Jesus. Santa Claus is for children. So let us not get misled by Santa Claus as uh, unfortunately uh, it happens. And the purpose of Jesus' coming is love. And that love, when it is practiced, then of course God will be glorified in heaven and peace will come and exist in our midst. I wish you all a very happy Christmas. Thank you. My loving salutations at Bhagwan's lotus feet. <clears throat> Father Dominic, Father Suman, brothers and sisters, warm greetings to all of you on the holy occasion of the birth of Lord Jesus Christ. Um, <clears throat> it's always a pleasure uh, to meet with Father Dominic Emmanuel, uh, who is uh, a friend of the organization, a friend of the center, I would say. Mm -hmm. Just put your hands together for Father Dominic. I'm glad that Father started with a minute of silence for the children from across the border uh, and uh, put us all in prayer uh, for the beloved who were lost. It's, it's truly a loss for the humanity. Of the While uh, Christmas may be uh, a few days away, uh, but we wanted to hold this because it's very difficult to catch Father on the Christmas day. So we want to usually hold this program a day earlier or two days earlier, probably a day after Christmas, uh, because we do we certainly want to celebrate the spirit of Christmas each year. Every year, the last Sunday of the year, uh, the members of the organizations should hit in maximum numbers the streets of Delhi to, food, uh, to feed the poorest of the poor uh, in the global Narayan Seva event that the organization will hold. Um, I'm sure we will outbeat our last year's numbers in feeding the needy on that day. So go out with full spirit and full spirit of love and compassion and serve in the shivering cold the ones who really need these meals. Jai Sai Thank you. A huge, huge round of applause, please.
Oh, 